Hey guys, Real Spartan here. Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon episode. I think this is episode 40, so the big 4 0. We're going to go kill the Southern Crew because we didn't do that before, and uh, yeah, if we're not going to do it now, then we probably won't even do it ever because we don't have many opportunities for such a thing. So let's start. I've uh, picked out this crew because they have. Well, they're pretty much the only level 1 units we have, to be honest. Ugh. I should really, really stop saying to be honest, but I can't help it. It's just a thing that I say. I'm pretty sure we don't need more stuff than this. Well, we'll take one more shovel just in case, I guess. Crying pies had become a nuisance along the old road, and so I undertook to receive my most curious deliveries by way of marine shipments. A sheltered jetty was accessible by a narrow stone stair off the back of the manor, and a discreet system of pulleys could hoist even the heaviest prizes up the rock face from a securely tied dinghy below. So, uh, yeah, I haven't even showed you my, like, my crew against this crew, but, uh... Poor devils. Chained and Cinderbox, Sunring, on Hellion. Um, I'm still using Bleed Out because Bleed Out, it, it is a good skill. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's just that sometimes... Sometimes it's not good, other times it's absolutely great. I'm hoping that this is one of those other times. I haven't changed camping skills either, so yeah. Houndmaster, I don't know why I brought him. Mostly just for blackjack, so I can stun the damn crew plebeian at the front. A Schwill, the occultist, is just basically for stabbing and marking, because we do have mark synergy in this party with uh, the arbalist. Arbalist, I don't know why she's here. It's just we need another unit, and the plague doctor is not good against the crew. At least from my experience. And here are the pelagic groupers. So let's take one out. That's 12 to 24 against 11 to 21. I'll take the higher chance kill. Destroyed. Highest possible damage. At least spearfishing cannot pull at level 1. That's something I am. Um, I can smile about. Seaweed Slash is, of course, still a uh, very balanced attack. It's more balanced than any other skill in the game. And yes, uh, double attacking the occultist. The occultist is, of course, uh, using dodge stuff and Junior's head because the occultist doesn't have any, uh, doesn't have much survivability, so kind of have to use dodge in a, as a supplement of that. Let's attempt to stab the damn thing. Sacrificial stab. The more, you, the longer you play the game, you more, the more you realize it's less of a, uh, an awesome skill that you need to use and more of a. Uh, Use it to hit the front lines because you don't have other good front line hitters. Let's use a shovel. I bought three of them. Okay, so I need to get more portraits for uh, upgrading. Upgrading what though? Yeah, upgrading the uh, guild. So that'll be my top priority. Portraits above everything else because we have like over a hundred crests. I can just probably just trade in most of those for uh, an upgrade. Crests seem to be very abundant in this game. Considering you can get 12 of them in a stack and you can only get like, what, three portraits and six of the others. It makes sense because uh, you need less of those things and more of portraits. I mean, just look at how many damn crests you need to upgrade the survivalist and the uh, nomad wagon. No one's gonna upgrade those things. I don't know anyone that actually does. Okay, we get a crit of our own at least. Should I even bother healing right now? I'd rather take out these fishmen. Okay, we can mark the Pelagic Guardian with the uh, Houndmaster and reduce like all of his protection. Okay, he'll have 8% protection. It's a tiny amount. The Hellion could probably kill it with a bleed out. No, but it's severely weakened now, and it's bleeding. Excellent. That is a strong bleed too. Four damage uh, per round for three rounds. That's twelve bleed damage. Octocestus. Okay, weak source. Let's get a battlefield bandage out. It's a nice little crit there. And this thing is dead. So we can just buff ourselves with a healing. 
because like what buffs would actually be useful? Adrenaline rush? Unless it crits, it isn't really going to do anything. Or if there's a fight like immediately next to this room. Let's check for our secret room. Okay, let's use the skeleton key then. These things give heirlooms which we need. You bleed. Yes, you bleed rather easily. Because, you know, if the bloody... Probably should have bandaged her up. Oh well. If the occultist bleeds you, you probably don't have very good bleed resist. Well, except if it's like late levels. I mean, I mean, no, except when it's early levels. Because, uh, that bleed skill doesn't get much bleed chance later on in the game. It, of course, has, like, 0% chance to bleed, eventually. Unless you're afflicted or are the leper. <clears throat> yeah, I'm pretty sure it literally can only bleed the leper on the later levels. So... Um, these bandits are very, very weak. Just blackjack you so we can kill you next turn. <laughs> Might consider healing. Nah, I won't even bother healing. We have a campfire. Right, so I don't have battle trance to use for the fight itself. So it'll have to be like using a... Maybe a restring crossbow. Do we have that? No, we don't. We have marching plan. So, we're not going to be dealing that much damage. Nice dodge. We haven't even gotten any scouts, which is surprising because we're using a seer stone and using full torchlight. We don't need this many torches. I'm surprised we got as many torches as we have gotten throughout this mission. It's just everywhere. <clears throat> So, um, uh, actually, no, nah, never mind. I won't bother talking about the election. Everything's been said. You don't need to know my opinion about the victory of Trump. <laughs> or maybe you do, I don't know. It isn't very important, though. I wouldn't be happy either way, to be honest. And more seaweed slashes. At least they're dealing minimum, minimum damage, it seems. You know, if there's one good thing that came out of Trump being the president now, it's that all of the SJWs are pissed off to hell, and I hate SJWs. I hate them, so they can go fuck off. We do have the dog treats we can use against the crew. So, yeah. And we get another shovel, which we don't need. So too will resistance. Oh, what am I doing? <clears throat> if I forget. Also, yes, you can use a dog biscuit. As I said, you can use a dog biscuit uh, on this giant oyster, and you can get a buff. It's very pointless, but you can do it. <clears throat> Should I actually do that right now, just to show it off? You know what? Yeah, I'll do it. For the lols. <clears throat> we are, of course, using... um. A blood dust bring on the arbalist because she's like not very useful. Could get more scouting chance. That would probably like do nothing though. Yeah, you know what? What else are we gonna do with this time? Just in encourage the hound master because he has stress. Oh, he has man's first friend. Oh well. The match is <clears throat> a blazing star is born. Who do I want to give a dodge buff to? You have 20, you have 16. You know what, I'll give us the Arbalist. Actually, he has the lowest move resist. The Occultist does, so I'll give it to him, so he can hopefully dodge. Do not ask me why that gives him a 25 dodge buff. <laughs> As I said before, I have no idea why. Oh, torches. Wonderful. It's totally what we need. This is like the most well-lit place in all of the cove. I probably wouldn't even need to bring any torches and I would be, still be fine. And secret room. Nope, oh, no secret room. Probably not going to bother backtracking because we'd probably just starve to death on the way back, even though we have like 
How much food do we have? Twelve. Another misfortune. Yeah, whatever. Crew time. My crew versus theirs. Even in death, the captain shouts his orders, and the crew obeys. Okay, he of course gets his turn first. I'm just gonna focus on the crew and stun lock this drowned puller. Vulnerability hex to reduce his. Does he even have any dodge? I don't think he does. So you get stun amulet for uh, extra stun chance. Boarding clutch somehow manages to hit the occultist to a 60 dodge. And a weak 17 hit. Weak. That's mutiny. Or muttony. <laughs> Who says muttony? I believe that is a reference to a total drama. That show is... I don't think that show is good anymore. Does it? Also, you can, like, wait for this guy, so... Oh, wait, he gets 70% stun resist? I mean, plus 65% stun resist? No, he, he doesn't. He gets... Wait, why does this guy have plus buffs? I don't know. This little unit here doesn't really make much sense. Like, why doesn't he just have specific, um... I mean, it says he has plus 50% protection, plus 50% bleed and blight resist, but... Why wouldn't you just make his default stats like that? I mean, he changes to a completely different unit when he pulls a unit, a, uh, pulls one of your other guys, so why would you, like, bother with that? Just make him a completely a different unit, which he is, so that buff literally means nothing. As you can't remove buffs in this game from the enemies, it, it would be interesting if you could. It would mean that stun locking was much more effective. But, uh, yeah. There's no way to. So, uh, let's kill this thing. Um, what's the chances of stunning? 44%. Okay, can we get a crit from, like, the Arbalist, at least, to kill this thing? You don't hit the Arbalist, but you hit the bloody Occultist. Okay, here comes the pulling attack. Also, Mutiny has, like, zero accuracy. Yep. Dodge the damn pull with 16 dodge, mind you. So, yeah, this fight's over. I didn't expect that to be a challenge, and it wasn't, because I'm using, like, level 3 heroes and gear, effectively. We got, like, no gold, but we got heirlooms, at least, and I can sell that trinket for a monetary compensation. More spasms of the entrails. <laughs> Witness, Warren, Scrounger, Wheel, Explorer. Those are pretty junky skills, but hey, at least they didn't get anything too bad. And now I can remove some, uh, things. Yes, yeah, just some stress. Probably gonna remove, like, diseases mostly, though, because these units are gonna go out to uh, Dark's Dungeon. And we will need to, like, fix up things in case things happen, and you cannot... You're, like, faithless or something like that. Oh well, who has the highest stress? No, that's level. Stress. These guys have pretty much no stress, actually, so I won't even bother. Because they might go walkies on me. So let's see, can we upgrade? We need 20 of those, and we can budget... 64. No, oh, wait. Is that 64? No, it's 74. So let's check the exchange rate. Nope. We do not have enough. Damn it. Wait, hang on. Let's trade in some less useful things. Okay, so five of those. So we need 15, and I still don't think that's enough for 15. Yep, we need more loot. Damn it. So, I guess next episode we're going to be going and grabbing the last of the uh, junk. These both give five thingies. So this is a free sanitarium trip. So I'll probably be doing this because this mission is absolutely garbage.
because you get pretty pretty much nothing from this. You get 50% off prices on supplies on your next mission after you do this one. So it's pointless. Won't do it. See you guys in the next video where we go back to the wheel to the war. We yeah, the wheel, wheel. See you guys then. Bye.